Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! It's Monday. On Mondays, we do tier lists, and on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Regina George is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. I hear she does car commercials in Japan. Her favorite movie is Varsity Blues. One time, she met John Stamos on a plane, and he told her she was pretty. One time, she punched me in the face. It was awesome. For today's tier list, we're talking about these two items, the Curse Bangle and the Curse Incense, and what Pokemon use these two items best. No, we're not just ranking these two items, although that would be pretty funny and a pretty short tier list. Uh, Curse Incense S tier, Curse Bangle C tier, end of tier list. Okay, so the Curse Bangle and Curse Incense, for those of you who are not aware, are the newest items added to Pokemon Unite, and these items will reduce healing that your opponents receive when you hit them with your moves, or when you hit them with basic attacks. The Curse Bangle is based off of attack damage, and the Curse Incense is based off of special attack damage. There are more Pokemon that kind of uh, work well with the Curse Bangle for their basic attacks, and then there are more Pokemon that work with the Curse Incense oftentimes for their moves. Also, there is sort of a couple bugs going on with these items right now, but in general, they'll st they're still very, very good items for many characters inside of Pokemon Unite, and we are going to take a look at that list right now. For this week, I have our list set to go here, and I'm going to briefly go through it and talk about all these Pokemon, why I put them where I put them. But in general, this is my take on the curse items and what they are good for inside the game. We have our tiers this week, our S tier. These are Pokemon that are extremely good with these items. Our A tier, also very, very good, but have some other options. We have our good, but a little specific tier. So these are Pokemon that use these items pretty well on a specific build but then also there are a lot of other options for these Pokemon. We have the fine but better options. These are a, a big list of Pokemon that I like using these items on, but there are just a lot of good choices. We have our B tier. God! Still got the B tier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate having that thing around this week. Ruined my hair. <laughs> Hold on. Let's fix it. Somewhat better. We have our uh, no tier, very Star Wars like no, uh, and we're gonna go through all of these right here. Our B tier are Pokemon that just have so many better options. You can't really, you know, recommend running this, even though it could work for some of these Pokemon. And then our no tier is uh, there are pretty strong reasons not to use them on these Pokemon. So let's get into it here. Uh, we'll start with our no tier. Tyranitar does true damage. The Curse Bangle does not work off of true damage. In general, this item is a bait on this Pokemon. I would not recommend using it, even though there are times it's doing attack damage and it will proc that item. In general, once it becomes Tyranitar, you are losing a lot of value with this. You'd be much better off with many other items. We have Clefable. This Pokemon can have two moves that do zero damage. So this would be a crazy choice for this Pokemon. Maybe you could use it on the Kiss Me build, but even then, I think there are just many better choices. Uh, we have Blissey. Blissey also just really spends most of its time helping its allies and has really no place for this item on its list. You could get away with it, I guess, with the egg build, but it just doesn't really help you that much. And then Mimikyu actually might be okay with these items, but like a lot of our all-rounders, uh, it's very possible it won't use these because all-rounders have so many good item choices inside of Pokemon Unite that it's hard to throw one of these on there. I also put it down there because it's not released yet. It, it actually might be okay with these items. Let's bounce around a little bit. Where do we want to go next? Let's talk about uh, let's talk about our fine but better options list. This is one of our largest, actually is our largest list of Pokemon in the game. I've tried these items on all of these Pokemon, and some of them I think are actually pretty good. It's just tough because there are a lot of great options with these Pokemon. So, Dodrio, for instance. I actually really like this on Dodrio. Uh, the nice thing about it is you'll drill pack an entire enemy team. You often use a basic attack afterwards. It's actually pretty solid on this Pokemon, but there's just lots of good Dodrio items. Razor Claw, Float Stone, both stacking items, and uh, Energy Amp. There's just lots of good choices here. Eldegoss is another Pokemon that I actually do like with this item quite a bit. One of its moves might not be dealing damage. However, if you go with both you know, damage dealing moves, there's definitely 
definitely more of an option there. But it does really well with auto attack, and it, of course, needs experience share. Espeon, you can use it, but I, I just find that focusing on all special attack items is a little bit stronger. However, you could swap choice specs out with something, you know, like the Curse Instance. The problem with Espeon, though, is its early game secure is so good that choice specs just lend to that and give it a, such a better option for secure. So it's like, I don't know, you probably wouldn't want to drop it. Uh, Gudra, fun, fine, lots of good choices. Greedon, cheesy but fun. Hoopa just has, I mean, it just feels like EXP share muscle band rapid fire scarf is so good on Hoopa. You could run it, I have run it. But yeah, Leafeon, I feel like is a weird one. Leafeon is actually, I might even move Leafeon. Here's the thing about Leafeon. Its third item spot is really up to interpretation. Without question, attack weight uh, and I think energy amp are amazing choices for this Pokemon. However, outside of that, Razor Claw, Floatstone, Buddy Barrier, and now Curse Bangle, I think are all very reasonable choices for Leafeon, so maybe it's a little better than I gave it credit for. Cram is bugged and it's weird. And it's just, it's a weird Pokemon, and I, I just can't really recommend it on Cram, especially with its Unite move being so good. Blastoise has the same issue. Really fun to play Curse Blastoise, it is, but Blastoise already can stack really well, can definitely run Spoon, definitely can run Amp. There are just so many good choices. Trevenant's the exact same way, just on the other side. I like playing it on Trev, and at the same time, Trev is great with lots of items. Uh, Umbreon runs into this too. Umbreon foul play snarl with this is actually super fun. But again, things like uh, your attack weights, your AOS cookies, focus bands, EXP shares. There's just so many good options. Uh, Water Bear, I think is pretty fun with this. But again, all rounders, tons of stuff. Zero Aura is bizarre. I don't know. It's it, you. You can run it on Zeraora, but Zeraora is more bursty. It feels like than any sustained sort of hitting enemies with it. I think your best bet's probably discharge, right? Because you'll hit multiple enemies. That's a pretty cool idea. But there are a lot of good uh, items for this Pokemon. Comfey, very fun. Uh, it's actually really fun on the Magical Leaf build, but I think it's pretty cheesy. Talonflame just has too many good choices, so I like it, but I hate dropping Floatstone from my Talon. Aegislash has been one of my favorite ones, but at the same time, the all-rounders just have so many good slots. Like, you could easily swap it with an attack weight, weakness policy, whatever, and be totally fine. Dragonite feels kind of the same way. Dragonite actually feels more specific than Aegislash, but still really good. Duraludon, I feel like <clears throat> it's hard to want to drop the basic ADC items from Duraludon for some reason. It's just so powerful with Muscle, Rapid, and Scope. It's just really hard to want to change that up really at all. And then Buzzwool, I've used it, but I just, I think you want other things for Buzzwool. I don't, I do not think you need to spend your time with Buzzwool worrying about curse item. Even though, I mean, if you really hate stacking, you could run it. You could run it and weakness policy and things like that. It's fun for sure, but I don't know if it's entirely necessary. Let's talk a little bit about our B tier. These are all Pokemon, uh, and I'm just going to briefly go through them, that I think, of course, could run these items. Really, anyone can because it helps your main base stat. There are just too many good choices with so many of these Pokemon in here. Inteleon's one that I was hoping you could run it on, but it's just hard not to run choice on this Pokemon with its amazing secure. Mew, it just feels like the same thing, you know, really runs into Mew right there. You just don't need this item, and choice is so good early for this Pokemon. On. Venusaur is kind of fun with the Petal Dance build. Uh, things like Wigglytuff and Snorlax can have a move that doesn't do damage. So those are a little tough to run these items on. And then things like Zacian, you know, they, are, they can only have two items. So I don't know if you want to use a slot for it. It's kind of fun on Absol as well. You do use your basic attacks a decent amount of the time on Absol. But at the same time, you probably want either Amp or Attack Weight. And the rest of these Pokemon just have lots and lots of good options for themselves. So I have no not found these to be great inside of our B tier. I would I would stay away from a lot of the B tier options, even though you could run these items. Again, it does help their base stat. Let's keep heading up our tier list here, and let's talk about good but a little specific. This is a fun tier. Uh, Crustle, I love it on Stealth Rock Crustle. It's so fun. 
they're stuck inside the rocks. You're also hitting, you know, opponents with autos a lot. Your Unite moves hitting them. So it's actually a pretty cool option that I like on Crustle a bit. I like this on both Decidueye builds for different reasons, but there are also really good items to slot in instead. For some reason, I don't love it as much as on Delphox as I do on some of the other mages, but it's definitely very, very good on Delphox. I think it's probably better on the Fire Spin version of Delphox, but either one, you're hitting a ton with a ton of moves. Mammo. Mammo, I actually think, could be as high as A tier with these items. The only problem is you drop a lot of good items for this, but specifically early with Mammo, this is so fun. You're you're so mean with Mammo. You're auto attacking so much early in lane and you're just applying so much curse. It's great. For Mr. Mime, I love this with curse. Uh, curse. <laughs> I love this with cur curse item. <laughs> I love curse incense with power swap and psychic. It's so fun. It's just a never ending curse that you're chained to your enemy with. Really, really fun. Mewtwo Y is in our good but specific tier. The big problem with this Pokemon is it feels like not running attack speed, attack speed, spoon seems crazy. It, it just does. The Pokemon's too broken with that. So I don't see why you would run it. However, it would do area attack. It, it's disgusting. You could run it. It's just crazy. Uh, Sableye. I like running this on the faint attack build because you're just setting up tons of, you know, situations where people are taking more damage than they expect already. And then if they're walking back to bases or anything like that they're just not healing as much pretty fun with slow bro i like this as well i like it more with scald than i do with surf but either way it's fun to just apply curse to your opponents and i think defenders actually work pretty good with these items in general slow bro is a fun one guardy kind of feels like it falls in line with uh delphox to me not bad by any means but i usually like things like choice a little bit better on this pokemon for whatever reason azumarill Aqua Tail counts as like a basic attack, so it applies curse like that. I actually think this is pretty good on Azu, the Aqua Tail build. I've seen people run it on Whirlpool too, because you're just around your enemies and you're, you know, constantly hitting them. So I think both could be pretty fun options as well. And then again, we just move Leafeon up there because I do think Leafeon has some pretty good opportunities for these items. Now let's talk about our A tier and then finally our S tier here. A tier, these are all Pokemon that I think are really great with these items. Uh, some of them are kind of build specific, but not entirely. Uh, we've got Cinderace and we have Dragapult. I think Dragapult might even be better than Cinderace with these items. Cinderace is really good, but I still think Rapid Fire Scarf is really amazing on this Pokemon. You'd probably run Muscle scope and curse bangle for cinder you could kind of do the same thing with dragapult dragapult's nice thing is it applies it with dragon dance which is just so incredibly fun but cinder with blaze kick has that built-in attack speed steroid already so you don't necessarily need the rapid fire scarf i however think you still could absolutely run it and have a great time with that pokemon dragapult feels like Maybe the best ADC for this. Decidueye is kind of cool too because you hit multiple enemies with Razor Leaf, but I, I think Dragapult might be the best attack damage carry with this item. For Glaceon, Glaceon hits with this with all of their moves and all of their basic attacks. So I think with Icy Wind, this probably isn't as good because you're not basic attacking as much, but with the Icicle Spear build, you're building up those spears all the time with your basics that are all special. I really like Glaceon with this item. And then we have Lapras. Lapras is just one of the best defenders in the game and one of the best defenders with this item. Your auto attacks are at range. You're hitting them odd all the time. You have area effect damage. It's just so good. I, I feel like Lapras is just such a good call for these items. You have Mewtwo X as well. Mewtwo X, I think, is a little better than Y because the items for X are always a little... I don't know. There are a lot of good choices. It's another one of those all-rounders, but you have sustained fights, especially on enemy goals, and when you're Mega, you are just outlasting your opponent so hard. If they have any self-sustain or they have any you know supporter with them trying to help them you could outlast them especially with a cursed item in a lot of those situations lola nine tails just i think very very good with this for its blizzard avalanche build i haven't tried it much on dazzling gleam aurora veil vale, i have to say i think you'd probably still want the attack speed with those and then a spoon but 
with the Blizzard Avalanche build, there are just a lot of situations where you catch your opponents and they could have a focus band, they could have some healing and just not heal through your massive amount of special attack. Sylveon, one of my favorite Pokemon for this. Both builds, I think are great with it. Mystical Fire, it's just constant damage and constant reapplying curse. And then Hyper Voice feels like just like a massive special attack, you know, like water hose that you're blasting on your opponents the entire time and they can't heal that well. And even if they're running home, they're just not able to get away from you. And then finally, Gengar. I think Hex Gengar is really, really good with this. For Shadow Ball Dream Eater, you're kind of set up where you are bursting so fast. I don't know if you need this, but with Hex Sludge Bomb, you're hitting them with Sludge Bomb and that's putting it on them. Then you jump in with Hex, then you boost an attack. So there are just so many instances where you're triggering the extra curse effect on your opponents. I think it's really, really good for Gengar. And then finally, we have our S tier. There are three Pokemon I put into our S tier, but there are others that you could probably put in. In fact, if you think there are other Pokemon that should be in the A or S tier that I'm not recognizing, please let me know down in the comments. I think Chandelure, Charizard, and Pikachu, the Thunder Thunderbolt Pikachu are perfect for this. Chandelure's area attack is crazy and it's constant and you throw your mystical fire really far at the end of it. It's just, I feel like this item is perfectly set up for the crazy amount of area damage that you do with Chandelure. You just throw this debuff basically on the entire enemy team in some team fights. Then we have Pikachu. Thunder Thunderbolt was such a low cooldown, such incredible range. I feel like this is set up perfectly for this build as well. Not only are you supporting your team by stunning your opponents, doing really nice damage, but you're also debuffing them. So you're just adding another effect on top of your already really solid kit right now. I think this is a, I don't know, for me, it's kind of a must have item for that set. You go spoon, amp, curse incense for Pikachu. And then Charizard, I feel like they've given Charizard a perfect third item. It used to have true damage on its basics and that's been taken away. In a way, the true damage being taken away has actually made this item worthwhile for Char. Otherwise, this item wouldn't be worthwhile for Char. That being said, I don't know why they nerfed Char back when they nerfed Char. But Charizard hits with basics a ton of times, all the time. It has area damage with its fire. And at the same time, when it's in its Unite move, you are hitting with basics the whole time. It feels like a perfectly set up item for Charizard. And there you have it our curse items tier list. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you disagree with in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. More cool stuff coming soon. And I heard they're nerfing Mewtwo today. They're not. I wish they were. Yeehaw. Mm -hmm. Nerf Mewtwo today. <laughs>